Hey there, welcome to the channel. My name is James, and here at 20th and 21st Movies, we are about all things cinema, all things horror movies. We are all in with 31 days of horror this month, and I have been having a blast going through my horror movie collection. This is part three of my horror movie collection series, and in this video today, I'm going to share with you my horror movies in my physical media library that came out before 1980. So it is some more of my classic horror movie titles. These are the ones that came out before 1980. Now, in the first two parts of this horror movie collection series, I covered my contemporary horror movie titles in my collection, which are the titles that came out in 2001 to present day. That's part one in this series. In part two of this series, I covered my classic horror movie titles that came out from 1980 through the year 2000. And in this video, again, I'm covering my pre-1980 horror classics. So can't wait to get into these. I got a couple of stacks here, got a ton of Criterion Collection titles in these stacks here because there's a good number of Criterion Collection titles that are in that classic space that came out before 1980. So I got a good number of them here. These are all highly recommended for the upcoming 50% off Criterion Collection sales at Barnes & Noble and Amazon.com, as well as perhaps a 24-hour flash sale that might be happening very, very soon. So we shall see about that. But these are all highly recommended for those upcoming sales. So I'm gonna jump into these titles. I'm also gonna share with you an addendum to my contemporary horror titles. Over the last couple of weeks, I had a chance to pick up some additional contemporary horror titles. So I will share those with you because those did not appear in my original part one video. So I'm gonna share those with you because our libraries keep growing. We keep collecting more of this fantastic physical media. It is so much fun. We're gonna have a ton of fun in this video. On the other side of this, I cannot wait to show you these titles and to hear what you think about these classic horror movies. Let's go. All right, let's get into these classic horror movie titles, starting with this one here. It's a Criterion Collection edition of Hoxon. This is a 1922 film that is from director Benjamin Christensen. It is spine 134 in the Criterion Collection, and it is highly, highly recommended. Really, really good film. I've only seen part of it, but the part that I've seen has just been... It's pretty mesmerizing seeing filmmaking from this period and just realizing, okay, this is 1922. That's over 100 years ago, right? <laughs> That's a long time ago. And it's just great to have physical media in our collection that goes back then that long and has that kind of vintage. A decade later, or just over 90 years ago, we got Vampire. This is from Carl Theodore Dreyer. He's the same director who gave us The Passion of Joan of Arc, which is another title I highly recommend picking up in the Criterion Collection. It is absolutely fantastic. This is Vampire. This is Spine 437. You get a really nice package here. It includes the writing Vampire, so it's this nice, thick, like, uh, it's the screenplay, essentially, of Vampire. So they provide that in the package. I'm not sure if current packages you know, have all of that, but I'm really, I'm very happy to have this set of Vampire. So that's from Carl Theodore Dreyer. Then this amazing film from Val Luton is Cat People from a decade later, so 1942. So we're going from 1922 to 1932 to 1942 with Cat People. Spine number 833 in the Criterion Collection. This is a very nice film that is written by Jacques Tourneur and it is a Val Luton production. So really nice film, highly recommended. This is one of my highest recommendations. If you're looking for a Criterion Collection classic horror title, and you wanna know what is the one recommendation you would make that I would make, here it is right here, Diabolique. If you like, especially if you like Alfred Hitchcock, this film is very Hitchcockian. This is a film by, film by Henri Georges Clouseau. So it's very Hitchcockian, but it's not directed by Alfred Hitchcock. It's directed by 
on French director Henri Georges Clouseau. It stars his wife, Vera Clouseau, um, as well as Simone uh, Signoret. And it is absolutely fantastic. It's two women who basically plot to kill, well, two women, a mistress and a wife, who plot to kill the wife's husband and try to make this a perfect murder plot. But of course, we know there's no such thing as a perfect murder. And this is Spine 35. This film got a modern remake, I believe, in 1998 or the late 1990s, starring Chaz Palmieri and Sharon Stone called Diabolique. But amazing film. Probably the film that I would say, is there a such thing as a perfect film? I don't think there is, but what is the closest film there is to it? In my opinion, it would be Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho from 1960. I think this film is as close to perfection as it gets. It is an absolutely fantastic film. It is part of this 4K set, the Alfred Hitchcock Classics Collection. This is the first volume of that set. Amazing. It includes Rear Window, Vertigo, and The Birds. But Psycho is one of those amazing films in this set from 1960, starring Anthony Perkins. You have Janet Lee in this amazing film as well. Jack Clayton directed De Deborah Kerr in the 1961 film, The Innocents. Amazing film. Deborah Kerr plays a governess and she's taking care of these children who are a little creepy. So <laughs> this is a creepy, mysterious, haunting film. Highly recommend this film. So good. Called The Innocents. Carnival of Souls is so good by Kirk Harvey from 1962, starring Candace Hillegas. So good. Such a fantastic film. Really enjoyed this film. It's a very, it's just a cool horror title. Cool early 1960s horror title. Highly recommend Spine 63 in the Criterion Collection. Recently, it got a Blu-ray upgrade, I think about four or five years ago. This community recommended this title to me when it was first announced by Criterion, I guess a couple years ago. I wasn't really thinking about picking it up, but then I got a ton of comments from this community saying, James, you need to pick up Onibaba. And I did. And I'm glad I did because this is an amazing, amazing film from Kaneto Shindo. It is Spine 226. It's from 1964. And I highly recommend this title. A film by Kaneto Shindo, Onibaba. So good. So, so good. I need to rewatch Kwaidan. I have not seen this in a long time. This is from 1965. This is from Masaki Kobayashi. And it is an amazing film. I have not seen it in a long time, though I need to revisit this Criterion Collection title. It is spine number 90 in the Criterion Collection. It comes in at 183 minutes and it's from 1965. So we're still, in the, it's still in the 1960s, rocking along here, showing a lot of Criterion titles. I recently rewatched just the other night, Repulsion, starring Catherine Deneuve. This is a Roman Polanski film that's in the collection. So good. Roman Polanski has a couple of films in the collection. This is one of them. And this is Spine 483. Really interesting film. Catherine Deneuve's character is, is, is definitely disturbed and has, has some issues she's working through. And it's just a really, really good film. Probably the scariest film that I'm going to show you in this entire video that just gives me nightmares every time I watch this film. It is by far the scariest, has incredible jump scares. It just keeps you on the edge of your seat. The suspense, it, it just kills you every time. And it's the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. <laughs> just kidding. But yeah, this is a film from the 1960s. It's got that Halloween spirit. It's got my, got my favorite characters, the Peanut Gang, Peanuts Gang with Snoopy, Charlie Brown, Linus, Lucy, the whole nine yards. You know, says in the back, boo. <laughs> so, you know, it doesn't get any better than that. Kaneto Shindo also gave us Kuraneko. This is Kuraneko from 1968. It's spine 584 in the Criterion Collection. Highly recommend this title as well. It's a good ghost story. So if you're into that type of a thing, you're going to like Kuraneko. So very nice, haunting ghost story. And this film here is 
is so awesome. It literally is one of those bedrock foundational modern horror classics. Came out in 1968, George A. Romero, Night of the Living Dead. Spine number 909 in the Criterion Collection comes in at 96 minutes from 1968. This was shot outside Pittsburgh, low budget film. George A. Romero, this is a masterpiece of low budget cinema. That's an all time classic. I had the Blu-ray edition of this film. It looks perfectly fine. Really enjoyed the presentation, enjoyed the film itself and all the characters and just the dynamic of this film, the music, the atmosphere, everything about Night of the Living Dead works for me. It's just a classic horror zombie apocalyptic title. So I really enjoyed this film. This film, this title has a 4K upgrading criterion. So if you're thinking about picking this up, you might want to get that 4K title. I have not picked up the 4K edition. I'm happy with the Blu-ray for this particular title, but I have heard pretty good things about the 4K of Night of the Living Dead. So definitely consider picking that one up if you're looking for that title. It is Spy 909 in the collection. Now, this is a title that is also, I'm showing a lot of Criterion titles, and this is another one. Unfortunately, though, this is a Criterion title that is out of print, but it just got a 4K upgrade, and that's Rosemary's Baby. So I have this 1968 classic film on the Criterion Edition, as well as this new 4K upgrade. This 4K edition does not have a lot of special features, so definitely keeping my Criterion Edition because it has more in the way of special features. So. But I'm looking forward to, forward to seeing the picture quality of the 4K and seeing how it stacks up against the Blu-ray, but um, should be interesting. So the Blu-ray was based off of a new restored digital transfer. I believe this might be a new 4K digital restoration. So we'll see if there's any appreciable picture differences. So I'll check on that and might report back on that. Let me get a sip of my spearmint tea here. Hmm. Hope you're enjoying this video. Want to hear what you all think about these titles that I'm showing you so far and the titles that I'm going to show, as well as some other notable classic horror films from before 1980 that are in your collection that I'm not showing that you would recommend that I or someone else in the audience picks up. Brian De Palma's Sisters, also in the Criterion Collection. 1973, Margot Kidder before she became Lois Lane. Really good film. I like Brian De Palma's films. I, I just, I love his filmmaking style. I really do. This is a good film starring Marco Kidder. It's not my favorite of his, of Brian De Palma's films, but it's a solid, solid film. This is a classic all time film. Do not like the slip cover, but The Exorcist recently revisited this film. I'm still in the process of watching The Exorcist 3. I keep falling asleep, not because the film is not good. The film is excellent, but I just keep watching it so late at night. I'm just too tired to finish it. So I'm still working my way through The Exorcist 3. I'm probably going to just start all over and just watch it from beginning to ending in one sitting. But, but yeah, The Exorcist is an all-time classic. Linda Blair is in this. Just it, She's incredible as Rick. Just incredible. Max von Sydow. And I, I just I just love, love this film. I'm actually forgetting a name here. Ellen Burstyn. Ellen Burstyn. Of course, The Exorcist has a new film. I, I forget Exorcist Believer, I think it's called. And I think I'm hearing kind of mm, kind of so so reviews. Let me let me know in the comments section if you have seen Exorcist Believer and what you think about it. This is another title and criterion that just got a 4K upgrade. I'm debating whether or not I want to take that upgrade or not, but this is Don't Look Now, Donald Sutherland, Julie Christie in this 1973 film, this is Spine 745 in the collection. This movie is, is just wonderful. It is fantastic. It has a great setting in Venice, Italy, and this is an English couple who faced some tragedy. They moved to Venice for a period, and some very mysterious things go on around them. I'll just leave it at that. But this is a really nice, mysterious. Hey, sorry about the audio drop there. I was just saying that Don't Look Now is really nice title. Really enjoyed this film. Julie Christie and Donald Sutherland are fantastic in this film. And I cannot say enough good things about it. If you have not already picked up this title, if you don't already have it in your collection, 
Picking up this on 4K Ultra HD is definitely a smart move to consider during one of these upcoming sales. So don't look now, Spine 745 in the Criterion Collection. Now this is a film that is classic grindhouse, grungy type cinema. And it is a film I've not ever seen until a few weeks ago. I got this wonderful steel book of Texas Chainsaw Massacre and this film blew me away. It, it just has this incredible grindhouse aesthetic to it. Grungy, gringy type, type of aesthetic. And I really, really it dig it. I really dig it. I almost said I really enjoyed it. I, I was, it really had sort of a strong cringe factor for me just watching it. But man, it, it's, it definitely leaves an impression on you. And I can definitely understand why this film is considered one of the all time classic horror titles, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So I have not seen any of the sequels. I've heard that the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 is pretty good. I think that got a Vinegar Syndrome 4K recently. So I might look into getting that title. Let me know in the comments section if you think that is a good addition to consider picking up. Now, I also have Dario Argento's Deep Red in my collection. This is a really good title. Highly recommend this one. This is one of those Arrow Video 4K limited edition box sets that I love. This stars David Hemmings, who of course started Umin, Vittering, and Zygo that I recently reviewed on this channel. This is a great Dario Argento film. I love that music. I love the story. I love the setting. This looks great on 4K. So great addition all the way around. One of my top two favorite Brian De Palma films is Blowout, starring John Travolta, Nancy Allen, and John Lithgow. But my other favorite De Palma film is this 1976 classic Carrie, which John Travolta is also in. But this film stars Sissy Spacek as the title character Carrie White, who is a young girl with telepathic powers and just an amazing story. The woman who played the mother of Carrie White in this film, Piper Laurie, was absolutely extraordinary in her role. And I just got word that on, on Saturday, the news came down that she passed away at the age of 91. So the, the great Piper Laurie recently has left us, but she started this amazing film and just was a, an extremely memorable character playing the mother of Carrie White. Amazing. So that's Carrie from 1976, one of the all-time classic horror films. It's a film you will never, ever forget. You'll also never forget this Criterion edition here of this film. This is from director uh, Nobuhuku, uh, Nobuhuku Obayashi, his, his house or Hausu. It is Spine 539, it's from 1977, comes in at 88 minutes, I believe, and it's a wacky, crazy, Japanese horror film. It's got six young girls going to one of the young girl's aunt's or grandma's house and crazy wacko things go on. It's just a crazy zany film you just need to experience for yourself. Check out the interior here. Just a really crazy whacked out movie. Spine number 539, the Criterion Collection, and it is fantastic. I love how soon. I also love Donald Sutherland and this amazing cast, including Leonard Nimoy, Mr. Spock, Brooke, Brooke Adams, Jeff Goldblum, Veronica, Cart Veronica Cartwright. They're all amazing in this remake of Invasion of the Body Snatchers. This is a 1978 version of the classic horror tale, horror sci-fi tale. And this Kino Lorber 4K edition is fantastic. Got some great features in the back here you see listed here. This is my Blu-ray edition, but this is an absolutely classic tale in classic horror cinema, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. The remake is fantastic. Love that film. Donald Sutherland is just, he's just terrific <laughs> in every movie. I cannot think of a single performance where he's mailed it in or he was anything less than on point. Let me know in the comments section if you agree or disagree with that. 
John Carpenter's Halloween. I mean, there's not much I need to say about this film. This is just one of the all-time classic slasher horror titles. This is Michael Myers, The Night He Came Home. I mean, this doesn't get any better than this. I mean, this is John Carpenter. He directed this film. He actually composed the classic score of this film. Just amazing. Amazing film. I've seen a number of the sequels. I have not seen all the sequels. I've mainly seen this film and I've seen the recent 2018 Halloween remake or the, the, the 2018 Halloween movie and Halloween Kills. I've seen those and I think I might have seen one other Halloween film. I have not seen the entirety of the Halloween franchise. This film here is just an all-time classic and it's definitely the one to start with. And if you only do one film in this franchise, just do this one here. <laughs> and you're and you're and you're good, you know. All-time classic Halloween. Another all-time classic is the Amityville Horror. This stars James Brolin, the father of Thanos. You have Margot Kidder and you have Rod Steiger in an all-time classic film, The Amityville Horror. This is my first and only Vinegar Syndrome title. So I need to sort of up my game in the Vinegar Syndrome space. But I have to say, I am very, very pleased with my first Vinegar Syndrome title. Just absolutely fantastic. The 4K picture looks nice on this. And I was very happy with this edition of the Amityville Horror. We now come to the 40th anniversary edition that I have here of Aliens. So Gordy Weaver stars in this film, this James Cameron film, the one that started it all, all-time classic. This is just one of the all-time great horror films, a sci-fi, amazing film. Spawned a number of sequels. Then we come to a David Cronenberg film. The Brood is in the Criterion Collection. It is spine number 777. This is a new restored 2K digital transfer. This is a 1979 film that comes in at 92 minutes. David Cronenberg film, really creepy film. It's a disturbed woman is receiving a radical form of psychotherapy at a remote, mysterious institute. Meanwhile, her five-year-old daughter, under the care of her estranged husband, is being terrorized by a group of demonic beings. So really interesting, interesting title that I would recommend if you are a fan of David Cronenberg, body horror type films, give the Brood an, an opportunity to enter your collection if you're into that space. So those are my classic horror titles from, from before 1980. Here's the first stack. Several of these are Criterion Collection titles. So I'm gonna share these with you again so you can peruse and consider as these upcoming 50% off sales are coming up very, very soon, we hope, fingers crossed. You may wanna consider adding some of these to your collection, some of these Criterion titles, as well as some of these other titles as well. Now I'm gonna do an addendum to my contemporary horror films over the last few weeks, I've had a chance to pick up some amazing titles and I'm going to share them with you right now. These are two more, a few more additions to my contemporary horror titles. Talk to me and miss. I picked up these two 4K titles. Both of these films I've had a chance to watch recently and they both blew me away. <laughs> I mean, this is a really nice addition, this steel book. It's one of those great Lions books, Lions Gate steel books, and just fantastic. The film, you it definitely leaves you, you definitely will not be the same after you've seen this film. It, it definitely impacts you. And Talk to Me, really nice modern A24 horror film. So I really enjoyed both of these films. This is from 2007 and this is from 2022, I believe, or 2023. So that's Talk to Me and The Mist. So pick those up. I also picked up and am actually watching, in the midst of watching right now, Megan. So I had a chance to pick up this film that came out last year. I'm so glad that I held off and didn't get the Blu-ray. The 4K recently came out, so I picked it up. So I am in the midst of watching it as we speak. I'm watching it on my iPad. I 
had the digital code, so I downloaded it to my movies anywhere. And so I'm kind of watching it on my iPad as opposed to the 4K because, okay, I got to remember to keep my audio going here. So anyway, I was just saying that for convenience purposes, I'm just watching Megan on my iPad versus my one of my 4K TVs because they're sort of being occupied by other members of the family watching games and other things that they want to watch. So we got to share sometimes. So I'm watching it on my iPad on my digital copy. So I also had a chance to pick up these 4K titles of Child's Play, Child's Play 2, and Child's Play 3 is part of the Shout Shocktober sale. So I was very happy to get those 4K upgrades of the Blu-ray editions I have of those films in that nice Chucky set that Sue over at Movies and Sue sent me a couple of months ago. So I was happy to upgrade those first three films in the Chucky series. I don't need all seven of those films on 4K. I'm perfectly fine with just the original Child's Play, Child's Play 2, and Child's Play 3 at the military school. And I'm good. I am now super happy and looking forward to checking out these upgrades and seeing how they look. I've heard that this looks the best. I've heard that this one is the best. I, I kind of like all three of them. I really like all these movies. I was, I was impressed from the very first time I popped this one in the player. I mean, I really, really started getting into this series and so happy to be introduced to this series this year. So really enjoy the Child's Play series. And I'm actually looking forward to at some point checking out the other Chucky films, Curse of Chucky, The Cult of Chucky, and finishing The Bride of Chucky. But the first three Child's Play films are just fantastic. So there you have it. Those are the classic films I have in my collection. This was part three of my horror movie collection series. Let me know in the comments section below what you think about these movies and let me know what other horror titles from pre-1980 that you would recommend. Also, let me know what titles you are most excited to pick up in the upcoming 50% off Criterion sales, other titles that, are, that you're looking to pick up from Arrow Video or just other labels, and just what you're most excited about that's going on in the world of physical media and entertainment. Let me know all that goodness in the comments section below. As, and as always, I really do appreciate you watching and I look forward to seeing you the next time at the movies. Peace.